YouTube, it's Louise the Big Head Bookworm. Lovely to see you. Hope you're well. Hope you're having a good day, wherever it is you are and whatever it is you're doing. How lovely to see you. Welcome, welcome to Friday Reads. It's Friday Reads, it's Friday Reads. Bright blessings to you on this solstice day. It's Friday Reads. Yes, it's a Friday Reads and it is Friday the 21st of June. It is our midsummer solstice today. And bright blessings to you on this day. I hope you are happy and well wherever it is you are. And I send you the uh, warmth of the sun in my love. And I hope you um, have a lovely day. Whenever it is that you watch this. It doesn't actually have to be the Friday. Of course it doesn't. But know that I am sending my love to you. And uh, that the love is around. Love is all around. That would be a good name for us all. Um, so yes. Hello. Happy Friday Reads. Today, today I have a booktube cat. It's uh, Indy. Indy the kitten. Indy the kitten. Who is currently relaxing. Um, my word. Louise, you say, you are looking very smart today. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I, you can tell that I'm so put together. You are looking at me post-swim from the Lido. This is what happens after I have been swimming in the Lido at Jesus Green Lido in Cambridge, in the east of England where I live. Um, and normally, uh, pre-Friday Reads, I will apply unguents to my face <laughs> and uh, I transform into a goddess-like figure before your very eyes and I do something to my hair um, but we're actually to celebrate the solstice we're actually going oh I can see ears oh hello uh, we're actually going to the um, river this evening we're going to take a little picnic and we're going to go to the river and uh, we are going to have a little swim to celebrate the solstice this Friday evening. So yes, because it's it's a non-work day for the husband tomorrow, so he can he can swim along and we can play. And Benedict's not going to school tomorrow, so it doesn't matter. Lateness, so it'll be quite nice. It'll be nice to swim in the evening. Um, we're having a lovely day today, as you can tell by the uh, <laughs> the mirror picture that we have up there. It's just a picture, but it always works as a mirror when I'm recording. Um, we're having a lovely sunny day today. Sunny and clouds but mainly sun and it's warmed up. We have had a low that has been sitting over us and bringing in much weather. We have had much weather. It has been tricky on the laundry front I have to say. It's like being in winter again and there was a bright spell yesterday and I actually came upstairs and I saw both neighbours whipping out their laundry because it was like quick quick and today it's seven o'clock. Everybody get your laundry out because it's going to be dry for an entire day. Today's the day. Change your beds, do your towels, everything. Today's your day. Um, tomorrow's supposed to be quite nice as well, so hopefully I'll be able to I'll be able to do bedding tomorrow. That's my plan. But yes, it has been a laundry a go-go. So I went to the Lido this morning and I swam and I swam and I swam. And then this evening is less about kind of exercise, more about being in the lovely river water because it just is a different thing isn't it different thing so yes please enjoy your summer solstice or your winter solstice if you are in the southern hemisphere and uh, have a beautiful day wherever it is you are um just a quick update from last week and everybody's lovely comments re benedict's dislike of thursday uh now renamed Thursday. Um, if you can, you can actually hear him. He's on the computer chatting to a friend of his, and you, um, because there's distance between them, you have to shout. <laughs> I gather, even though he has got headphones on with an earpiece, you still have to shout at them. Um, so yes, he's playing Roblox on the computer. So if you hear a hooting and a hollering, he's having a good time there. Um, so yes, Thursday. We, I took Mel's suggestion of um, upping the ante on the lunchbox and I let him know what was going to go in there so that he had something to look forward to. And yes, he did that. When he was having his breakfast in the morning, um, Indy the kitten, yes, that's you, um, was all over him and was just kind of a smooching and a cuddling, which he, he loved. So Indy obviously knew that uh, he needed affection you also brought him a dead mouse <laughs> here you are i've brought you breakfast i don't want it 
I'm not going to wait here. It's a dead mouse. I want my pouch. Um, but no, gave it to Ben, which Ben was not keen on. Um, surprising, surprising. Um, but that was lovely. So Indy was that Indy did, did good things, and it was generally we kind of upped the ante on the day, and he, he had a great day. And he it was absolutely fine, um, and has had a good day today as well. So we're we're I think we might have cracked the Thursday issue. Renaming it Thursday definitely did help bizarrely enough um but let's not question these things if they work let's go for it and that's all the news i have um there has been a little update in the old book marks so if you uh don't know if you're new to this channel i have an etsy shop called big head bookworm I was very pleased to find that that wasn't already a, a shop and I sell bookmarks um, and so I have Poirot, they're mainly Agatha Christie themed because you know queen of queen of crime, Dame, Dame Agatha. So we have Poirot which is her Belgian detective, this is in the sea green, currently have that in the shop. I have um, Agatha Agatha Love, there we are, and that is in a beautiful gold. I also did some of these this week because I just love them. It's Agatha in the Burgundy. Oh, oh I think that might be one of my favourites. So there's Agatha in the Burgundy there for you. And then I have just started doing these, and they're Friday Reads. So they're Friday Reads bookmarks for you. This is a gold one. Let me move in. A thread there. So this is the Friday Reads one, and I have done Deep Purple Friday Reads. So this just hasn't had its hole and its um, ribbon yet, but I have done that. So I've been working on those this week. Very enjoyable they are too. I feel when I'm listening, when I'm doing Agatha, I have to listen to Agatha or watch Agatha. So I watched Death in the Clouds by... Um, David Suchet, Suchet? Yes, it is Suchet. David Suchet? Yes, that's right. Um, is, yes, <laughs> for some reason, brain fart there, excuse me. Um, yeah, so I watched that when I was doing these Agathas because I felt like it was, I had, to, I had to be watching something or listening to something, or considering some things Agatha when I do the Agatha ones in particular. So that was, that was very enjoyable. Um, I think it's, queen of crime or some oh, i can't remember what her name is but there is a an agatha or the fish there is an agatha christie kind of fan club there's more than one on instagram there's one particular one where this month they have been reading death in the clouds which is why i watched it because i was just like yeah so yes yeah, so these will be in my etsy shop if you are interested um and i do send all the way around the world so if you are interested in purchasing one, that would be lovely. I shall leave a link in the description box down below. Um, and let's talk about books. Let's talk about books, friends. Let's talk about books, because that's why you're here, really, isn't it? Let's talk about books, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the good things and the bad things that we read. Let's talk about books. Let's talk about books. Yes, let's talk about books. So I read... Mine to Possess, a Psy Changeling novel by Nalini Singh, which is a romantic paranormal romance. Romantic paranormal romance. Oh, words are my friend. Yes. So, did I, sh did I show you this last week? Or was I partly reading it? Now I'm not sure if I didn't actually read this. Well, anyway, I read this. It's very good, actually. This is the fourth this is the fourth in the series. If I've told you all this before, I do apologise. <laughs> I can't actually remember. I had it down that I hadn't finished this before last Friday. Anyway, I read this, Mind to Possess, Nalini Singh. Um, yes, fourth in the Psy Changeling novel after Caressed by Ice. I think Read Them in the System. Uh, yeah, I think this is all coming very familiar now. So yeah, I read it really quickly. Here you are, I read this. I'm sure I've told you that before. They're all merging a little bit. Um, but I haven't told you about this one. <laughs> oh, no. This is definitely new, she says. No, it really is. It is. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, oh yes. It's a shiny library copy of Kate Hewitt's Moretti's Marriage Command. And look, he's looking at her, and she's got hell of an outfit there. 
You've got to wonder, what do you do about undergarments when you wear that? Talking like a nana, I realise that. But that, I don't look at that outfit and go, my, doesn't she look lovely? I look at that and go, how the hell do you get support whilst wearing that, young lady? And also, I hope that lace isn't itchy. Otherwise, you'd be red raw by the end of the evening, wouldn't you? So there we go. There she is. She's He's grabbing her hand. I don't know whether she's pleased or not pleased. I'm not sure whether he's pleased or not pleased. Altogether... And where are they? Because they do look like they could just be at a Weatherspoons, which is not a high, <laughs> a fancy weather, um, fancy retail establishment chain. But don't they look like they could be in the local Weatherspoons? Maybe they're going to something afterwards. I just popped in for a quick, quick, uh, quick bowl of onion rings to tide them over. Very sensible. Very sensible. But there they are, having a moment. She's just saying, I just need to nip to laugh. Just going to the laugh, love. And he's going, but don't leave me. And she's going, no, I do I do need to go. No, I need to go, love. It could be a while in this dress. So there we are. That's them. Um, yes, it was Mills and Boone. I thought, because I did, I found the other two disappointing. So I thought, you know, have, have Mills and Bean, Boone lost their touch for me? And jury's still out. Yes, it was it was all right. It was all right. Um, I tell you what, this is a modern power, passion and irresistible temptation. I found it quite resistible, actually, but apparently it's not supposed to be. Um, I quite like she had a bit more gumption in it. There, that is the problem with some Mills and Boons. They can, the, the heroines can be like a wilted lettuce leaf but she had a bit more gumption and when he would say things to her that were a bit like well a presumptive she was able to go no uh, no I don't think so I mean obviously she then wilted and you know things occurred but um yes I thought it was quite a good one quite a good one I mean he wasn't tremendously convincing as a hero but she had a bit more gumption about her, so I quite liked it for that. And um, it was quite nice saying Moretti's Marriage Command. It's one of those things you can read in an evening and amuse yourself whilst whilst thinking about it. Um, but what I have been reading and thoroughly enjoying is Six Feet Over, Adventures in the Afterlife by Mary Roach. So this is a book that I treated myself half with a voucher for my... Um, birthday last month yeah um so mary roach comes to uh the idea of the afterlife and she has a scientific mind she wants proof she doesn't want um theories she wants proof and she is looking at people so it's chapter after chapter and it's a different kind of view of a different kind of uh attempt at sorting out the afterlife or what looking at an aspect of the afterlife per chapter so the into so the introduction and from the moment i started the introduction i thought i like the cut of her jib quite frankly really good now this reminded me of the first time i read bill bryson and finding a writer that actually makes me laugh out loud this is me when i'm reading a sad book this is me when I'm reading a happy book. I am not somebody that that cries when I'm reading a book and I'm not somebody that, oh, 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 when I'm reading a book. I really am. You know, you cannot tell by the look on my face whether I'm enjoying it or not. Inside, I'm a laughing and I'm a crying, but I just, I just don't really do it. I've been happy now to have an occasional tear very occasional um but laughing no you see i'm a very serious person this is what people don't understand look but i'm a very serious person and so i like reading serious things and i take them very seriously you know that about me um and so this actually in the introduction made me laugh out loud i heard myself laughing out loud i was like what what is that noise what is that noise? What, what are we talking about here? So this it got me from that. So the first one is about reincarnation. The first chapter is called You Again. 
a visit to the reincarnation nation, i.e. India. And the little man inside the sperm, or possibly the big toe, is about hunting the soul with microscopes and scalpels. And it is just, she just has a turn of phrase. The footnotes are glorious, I have to say, um, because what she can't get in the main text, she puts in kind of asides and kind of other interesting things. And she, the amount of research that she does, she on, honestly must deep dive into subjects and goes and finds the eccentric and the weird and the wonderful but she puts it together in such a good way so I'm only I'm only I'm kind of 85 pages in but I am loving every single page unfortunately at the moment um, I seem to be reading it just when I go to bed and I'm lasting about four pages laugh 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 and then I go to sleep so I'm going through it a lot slower than I actually would have imagined I would um but I'm really enjoying it and I highly recommend it. So I was telling the husband about it yesterday, only yesterday. And he is very keen on wrestling it out of my hot little hands because he wants to read it too, because it sounds that really good. So it's really lovely finding her as an authoress or author because now I'm thinking, oh, she's written, you know, quite a lot, like Stiff and Bonk and, and, and all interesting books like that, Grunt, she, you know, and uh, if it's a her, if they are similar, I mean, I'd space them out, otherwise it'd be a bit samey, but I can imagine she's going to be one of my new favourite authors, and that's really lovely, so that's really good to, so I am ending this week on a high note with that book, that's all I am actually really reading at the moment, I'm not reading anything else, I'm not listening to anything on audiobooks, I'm still podcast a hooey. Um, I have been listening to Brexit Cast because of all the political shenanigans. Oh, crikey. Um, but you've got to watch. got to watch. Gotta, gotta, gotta be there. Gotta be taking part. Gotta be, you know, involved and what have you. Um, there's a rally coming up for a party nearby. So, um, the Green Party. So, I think we're going to go to that in a couple of weeks. So, yeah, so we are, you know, we've got to teach Benedict about being part of the political system, being part of the political conversation. Um, so, yes, I've been listening to Brexit Cast. I've been listening to Crime Junkie. Cannot get enough of Crime Junkie. Um, I'm actually re-listening to some. That shows you. That's what happens. Um, did I tell you about Man in the Window? Did I tell you about Man in the Window? I think I did last week. It's about the Golden State Killer. Yes, I've listened to all the ones that are out at the moment. There's four. Six in total. Four out at the moment. Really good. Comes out on a Tuesday, I think. Uh, so, yes, highly recommend that. There we go. That's all I've got for you, friends. I hope you have a glorious day. I've really enjoyed this. Let's do this again.